all right. of the things we talk about on the show are happening in Massachusetts. And now, how do you unwind this? I mean, you really can't. You know, we I mean, asked Casey how many how many deals are there? There's five, right? Yeah, five universities. Yep, that have yeah. deals. Everybody just rip them up and give the money back or whatever. And what do they do? I. I I don't know. There's no branding is fine. I mean, it was good though. Cause what Casey said was some, some clarity as to like in Massachusetts, it's, it's obviously the language is written a certain way, but like bet MGM's logo on the green monster when it comes to it on college campuses. Cause I asked him, you know, when you, when we go to the NIT games or we go to the WAC conference championship games, there's ads for sports books all over the place. And he said that branding is not a problem. They don't mind branding because you can't control who sees a branding message. It's the promo code advertisements that they want taken down and and i asked why and we got one answer i mm -hmm. have my own theory okay a lot of times uh in that situation who stands to gain the most from the promo code um that's debatable i guess I mean, it's the book, obviously, first and, and foremost, but it also anyone who is involved with getting that information. Exactly. So like, yeah. So, you know, so you can, you would have the information as to who would be interested in betting and you can go ahead and either give that to the university or you can give it to somebody else. You have or, their email, you have their email address, you have their account, you know what they, what they're doing. So. And who, who, who up where to this come point? From? Where it came where, and where it came from? Who up to this point is getting that information for the books when they sign up? Affiliate companies. Of course, I wouldn't yeah. want to be an affiliate company right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, it's good well, luck. I mean, in Massachusetts, they had the ninth. It was the twelfth hour to get it allowed to have affiliate marketing. Somebody got a bag. Yeah, I mean, for the whole time going up to launching of mobile. There was no legality to an affiliate company. Mm -hmm. And then at 1145, before the clock struck 12, they, Just were able, in time. they were able to get it on a temporary stay while yeah. they further investigate whether an affiliate company is allowed to be operating in the state of Massachusetts. I.E. further investigate. Meet me in a parking lot. <laughs> I got Bring the you. big one this time. <laughs> oh, did yeah. I say the quiet part out loud? Sorry. I, I, I got something for you. So, yeah. So